Awami was like to promise Makunyani, you come for my child, I come for your whole village. Hi, SR squad. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video. I'm sure everyone was so surprised after seeing that Awami was not entertaining the whole big guy interview with Promise Makunyani. Yes, she did make a video after the interview and she was just so cool, ignoring it as if she is not aware of what is currently happening. You know, she was just a drama free queen. Um, talking about different things in her videos guys if only people knew that it was just going to take a few days only a few days to come back to her real self okay oh, we made a video you guys and she was so angry according to her she is angry at the fact that promise Mokunyani included her child in the interview meaning that if it was not because of the child she was not going to entertain the whole thingy but if you know Owami you know that even if they did not include her child she was just going to respond because she says that she is not a bigger person she is so short okay now if you are not aware of what is happening maybe gossip is not for you but i'm just gonna tell you anyway okay so promise makunyani had an interview with a big guy who is awami's ex-husband and in the interview they did talk about awami's child who is awami's uh, um, sister's child basically Awami's child as well okay so in the video big guy revealed that Awami when she heard about her sister being pregnant she wanted her sister to do an abortion and big guy was allegedly there to prevent all of that okay we don't know if this is all true but that's what big guy told us now in Awami's recent video she made sure that the message gets straight to promise Makunyani's yes. Some of the things that she mentioned was that promise Makunyani's womb is rotten because even though she went into labor, gave birth, Akakangwana did not change her heart. She said that if promise Makunyani had a heart, she wouldn't have included her child in the video because now she have to deal with her child, you know, make sure that she is still protected even after the video. She says that her child is going to a very, very good school that they have access to internet and he could maybe like bump into the the video and that can lead to her child being bullied at school like for being an unwanted baby because they wanted to uh, abort him you know things like that so Oami says that because of that she will come for promise with everything she have she says that she can kill for Ure. Oami says that she is better than promise Makunyani because even though she never fell pregnant she never had those um labor contractions but she has a heart of a mother and that can be taken away from her now we know that it is alleged that you guys promise makunyani refuses to accept the children of his husband and it also alleged that promise makunyani's husband is busy gallivanting the streets like that other housewife's husband you know him was i don't have to mention his name so it is alleged that her husband is busy in the streets with other girls and sometimes he brings another babies into the marital home which promise makunyani is not ready to accept except even though she says that she cannot leave um, her husband for cheating. Awami indirectly said that a promise Makunyani wants her life. The reason why I'm saying this is because Awami says that she knew promise Makunyani from way back in Yana, maybe like um, three years, four years ago, you know, and she says that promise Makunyani had a YouTube channel before and she DM'd Awami, they talked, you know, and she says that like promise Makunyani was trying so hard to be Awami's friend, but Awami Mommy just felt like offish um energy towards um promise and that's why that's that's why she like stepped back you know even though she did not rub it into her face but she was just not feeling promise magunyani's energy and according to her she was right because look at this now so Omi says that promise magunyan was also 
asking her for um youtube advice you know until this other time owami when she went to zimbabwe i hope i'm not um mistaken by that when she went to zimbabwe she was working with this other company and when promise realized that owami was working with that company that's when promise also dm'd that company and she was like yeah i'm an influencer you know and that is why i would say that she indirectly said that promise makunyani wants her life now moving forward you guys Omi says that Omi revealed that she does have um trusting issues now so when people tries to slide in her dms these days she does not like entertain them like to befriend them because she does have trust issues as you know guys she's been telling us about this for the longest time even about um the other lady i don't want to mention her name because it will be like why are you dragging her into this whole thing you know so Omi says that because of that like she have trust issues these days not Owami dragging promise Makunyane's husband as well so Omi says that promise Makunyane said I'm going to say sad because I've never heard her saying that so she said that promise Makunyane said that um when she shoot like her videos the husband is behind like the scenes you know so Omi says that she is so confused like which husband was just like um sit there and listen to his wife talking about not accepting um um her other children so basically promise makunyane's husband's children are also promise makunyane's children you know so Omi says that what kind of a man is promise makunyane's husband because like she is just so confused oh and another thing that i forgot to mention you guys while she was telling us about this whole thing the video was like more than one hour if i'm not mistaken um she got a call you know and she was like hello baby so i guess we can say that omi finally moved on you know i guess now you guys so omi says that she is coming with uh, more you guys so we we can we can just be ready um omi's children i mean the smaller youtubers below 100k subscribers i just pray you guys have enough data wi-fi so that you are always connected because omi says that more is coming like more is coming she is going to reveal a lot about promise magunyani because like like she is willing to go to the grave like you you go down she goes to the grave you know anyway you guys do comment down below and let me know what do you think about this whole drama i guess this is never going to end like honestly it's never going to end because it is also alleged you guys that promise makunyan's house is on what is that that property 24 is it property 24 yes yeah, so she was trying to tell us something there but she was just like holding back holding back but i guess we will be getting more from this and we can make some coins as well as she is feeding us you know i know i don't usually say my opinion in my videos but today i'm going to say something okay the only thing i did not like in Owami's video is when she said i can kill for ure you know and sometimes it's not really a great idea to threaten in your public especially videos that can stay on the internet forever that is a very very dangerous sentence because something can happen to someone and you will definitely be the first suspect which is something that is not really cute and you don't want to see yourself going through something that you don't you, something that you don't even know you know that was like what moment for me honestly so yeah i guess that is my opinion and not to owami actually for everyone like when you fight with someone or when you are angry don't threaten them don't say i can kill even if i have to for this thing because the next thing you are a suspect but anyway you guys thank you so much for watching